Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic Raiden. Raiden is a vertical scrolling shoot 'em up game that was developed by Saibu Kaihatsu and published by Tecmo in 1990. In 1989, Saibu Kaihatsu released a game called Dynamite Duke. Now, Saibu Kaihatsu had high hopes for this game and thought it was going to be the paragon of arcade excellence. They spared no expense in creating a high spec circuit board for the game, only to watch their money, as well as any hopes for a sequel, fly out the window because Dynamite. Duke didn't do so great in the arcades. So to salvage what little money they had left, Saibu Kaihatsu decided to develop a shoot 'em up because it was relatively cheap to produce, they were still popular, and they desperately needed to recoup their losses. But they weren't just gonna put out any other shoot 'em up. Raiden was the product of some serious research and development. They basically took production notes in the overseas market and studied other popular shoot 'em up games of the time. After all was said and done, Raiden was born. In this game, you have to liberate Earth and the human race from an alien army known as the Kranazians. There are eight stages in the game, but it really doesn't matter because there is really no ending and the game loops back to the beginning after the eighth stage. Now during the 90s, when you thought of a vertical scrolling shooter, Raiden would most likely come to mind. Raiden was not a bullet hell type of game, nor was it one of the flashiest as strike gunners can be. In fact, there were a number of games that even looked better in my opinion. However, Raiden did exceptionally well in the arcades. I I even remember giving it a go more than a couple of times. Now, I think there's a couple of reasons for this. First, despite its obvious difficulty, it's not impossible. It's actually pretty fun when you play it a couple of times. Riders strategically balances the gameplay that it doesn't completely turn you off from the game. Secondly, I remember the game was always a quarter to play. During this time in arcade history, arcade game prices were slowly climbing from a quarter to 50 cents and so on and so forth. It was usually the more attractive the game was, the more quarters it was gonna cost to play. So Games like Raiden were a go if you wanted to play for a while and it was a suitable alternative to older or dated games. Thirdly, it was released on the SNES, Genesis, and TurboGrafx-16 around a year later. Now these were all the popular home consoles at the time and this would only help the game's popularity in the arcades as well as increase its longevity for years to come. This helped its presence in the arcades because if you owned a copy of the game then went to the arcades and saw your game there, oftentimes players would eventually play the games that they were most familiar with. Lastly, some games just have that magical X factor, that spark or special something that just makes you keep coming back for more, and Raiden pretty much had that. For whichever the reason though, it's no doubt that Raiden through R&D and sheer happenstance became one of the most iconic vertical scrolling shooters of all time. After Raiden's release, the genre started to blow up with more companies producing more vertical scrolling shooter ups regularly. I even like to divide this genre into pre and post Raiden because that's how much of an impact the game had. The game was ported over to many home consoles and spawned a number of sequels. It's a true arcade classic and I say try it out and let me know what you think.